In this video, we are going to connect the front end form with the back end API. So we will be able to use the UI to register a user in MongoDB. We begin by generating a new service that is responsible for making HTTP calls to the backend. But when we work with HTTP, we need to make use of the HTTP client module. So go to app.module.ts and import the module. And then add it to the imports array. So scroll down over here, I'm going to add HTTP client module. Next, let's generate the service. So open the terminal again. So view integrated terminal, add a new terminal, navigate inside the ng app folder and run the command ng g for generate s for service and then the name of the service. We're going to call this auth service. The auth service will contain the methods related to login and registration. Now in the service, we need to make HTTP requests. So import the HTTP client module. And then in the constructor, inject it. Next, create a property that stores the backend API URL. So this is going to be a new property called private register URL. And this is going to be equal to the backend API URL for registration. So HTTP localhost colon 3000 slash API slash register. Finally, let's define a register user method, which accepts a user object, which would be the email and the password. And within the body, we make the HTTP request. Registration is a post request. So this dot HTTP dot post. Now to this, now the first argument is the URL. So this dot underscore register URL. And the second argument is the user object. So user. And finally, we add type any to get rid of the red squiggly. And make sure to return the observable from this HTTP call. So at the beginning, add the return keyword. In simple words, the register user method accepts a user object and returns the response that the backend API sends whenever it is available. In our case, the backend API responds with either an error or the registered user. All right, now let's connect the service to the component. So back in register.component.ts, let's first import the auth service and inject it. Import it and then inject it. And then in the register user method, call the service passing the user data. So instead of logging to the console, this dot underscore auth, which is the auth service dot register user. Now this is going to accept this dot register user data. So that is the user data that we want to register in MongoDB. Now calling this method is not enough as we need to subscribe to the observable that is returned. So the next line dot subscribe. And when we subscribe to this observable, we either get the response or an error. For now, let's just log them to the console. So when we get a response, we're going to log to the console response. If you do get an error, we're going to log to the console error. All right, our connection is now complete. Before we test it out, let's quickly add the authentication service to the providers array. So in app.module.ts, in the providers array, I'm going to add auth service. And don't forget to import auth service. So now let's go back to the browser. I'm going to navigate to the registered component. I'm going to open the console just to make sure we don't have any errors. So that is working fine. I'm going to add an email address. So b at b.com and then the password is b and I'm going to click on register. Now right away you can see that we have an error. Fail to load response to preflight request there was no access control allow origin header. So this is a course error. 
And the error is because the front end is running on a different port compared to the back end. Front end is running on 4200 and back end is running on port 3000. To fix this, we need to add cards middleware. So go back to Visual Studio Code, open the integrated terminal, navigate inside the server folder this time. So go back and then CD server. And now run the command npm install dash dash save cars. Next open server.js file. So server.js first require cars here. So const cars is equal to require cars. And then after creating an instance of express, we're going to say app dot use cars. All right, save this and let's restart the server. So go back to the first terminal and then restart node server. All right, now that the server is restarted, let's go back to the browser. I'm going to clear the console and then I'm going to click on register. So you can see that we have a user object or to be more precise, the registered user object returned as the response. So we have the email b at b.com and then the password is b. If I go to mlab and then refresh the collection, right now you can see that we just have a at a.com and now we have b at b.com. So the user registration is now complete. Now, if this was overwhelming, let me explain how the request and response cycle works. We begin with the front end, register component. So the register component in the HTML, we have a button that calls the register user method. And in the register user method, we call the register user service, passing in the register user data. The register user service makes an HTTP POST request to the backend API URL to slash API slash register, passing in the user details. Now the backend is going to register that user in MongoDB and return the details of the registered user as a response. So that will be returned as an observable. So we need to subscribe to that observable. Now, it could be a positive scenario, in which case we get the response data, which is the registered user data, and we are logging that to the console. If there was an error, we're going to get back an error, which we are again logging to the console. User login is very similar, so let's take a look at that in the next video.